Hi guys, welcome to Liberty Bunker. Question of the day, do you need a TV license to watch Now TV? Let's take a look at the Now TV website. You'll need a TV license if you watch any of the live channels on your Now TV passes on any device. You'll also need a TV license if you use your Now TV box or Now TV smart stick to watch BBC iPlayer. Uh, I don't watch any live channels or BBC iPlayer. Only watch on-demand movies and shows on the entertainment, cinema, kids or Hey You passes and don't need to watch BBC iPlayer, then you'll need to tell TV licensing that you don't need a TV license. Now that's not uh, strictly true. You don't actually need to tell them. When I stopped paying my TV license, I just stopped paying, cancelled direct debit and left it at that. But you can tell them if you want to. It just basically saves knocks at the door, saves them sending you letters. and They'll probably knock on the door and still send you letters anyway because they are salespeople. They want you to buy that TV license to help fund the BBC. But there you go. If you are switching from Now TV, uh, just my quick thoughts about Now TV. Now TV, I don't have it myself. I have an Amazon Fire TV stick. I find for me that's the best way of watching i kind of much prefer on-demand services and if you're only watching on-demand stuff like youtube netflix uh, itv hub channel 4 od whatever they call their service only watching stuff on catch up you don't need a tv license i find the amazon fire tv stick slots in much better with the on-demand way of doing stuff from what i see of now tv now i've never owned now tv myself or paid for it but when i've gone to other people's houses now tv seems to be angled more at a happy medium between somewhere where Amazon is and where, say, Sky TV is. So you kind of get an in-between service, which maybe works quite well if your family's used to currently paying for like Sky TV and you want to switch to something cheaper. Uh, in my opinion, I prefer to make, I wanted to make the full jump to Amazon Fire Stick and then avoid paying a TV license because with Now TV, it seems harder to avoid paying a TV license because most of their services still run the system of like watching live TV and things like that. Uh, so if you if you're watching this video and you are considering swapping from you know FreeSat Sky TV to something like Now TV or something like Amazon Fire TV Stick, Fire TV Stick gets my recommendation. But that's the that's the information right there and there. You can look this up on the Now TV website. You don't necessarily have to pay for a TV license. If you're only watching the on-demand stuff, you're not watching anything live, you're not watching anything uh, on iPlayer. So, I mean, Now TV, yeah, it does seem cheaper than Sky, um, but that's just my thoughts and opinions. My personal thing, Fire TV Stick is the best on the market for what I need. It might be different for you and your circumstance. If you've got kids, things like that, it might be slightly different. But kids these days, they pretty much just watch Netflix and YouTube anyway. Uh, and that's basically what things like the Fire TV Stick are all about. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you're considering cancelling your TV licence, I think in my opinion, uh, I don't really like the BBC. I don't like some of the way they portray things. I think there's an inherent bias. They don't follow their uh, royal charter. So they're not fulfilling their obligation as a public service broadcaster. Uh, I think things with Brexit showed the corruption, whether you're for Brexit, against Brexit. I think that massively exposed the BBC for the people they are. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, Jason from Liberty Bunkers sign off and I'll see you in the next one.